Hello Stock Stalkers, welcome back. Very good and powerful closing both in DFM and ADX market today. Trust me guys, it's very good time to make money. And in such market conditions, if you are not able to make money, then definitely there are three scenarios. First one is either your stock selection is wrong, you are buying the stocks that are trending down. Or your strategy is wrong, you will have to revise it. Third scenario is you are trying to average down the cost in the stocks that are going down so that when it goes up, you can exit at break even or at least with some profit. That is the reason guys I keep mentioning only buy the stocks that are trending up so that at the time of correction you can buy here. This is the time to average just in case if you have bought at the higher price so that after the correction it can move up. On the other side, if you buy a stock that is cheaper which is going down, it will try to make a move to the upside but then it will make a new low and you will be trapped in this stock. So stock selection is very important if you want to make money in the stock market. In case if you are busy and you do not know how to read the charts, you can't figure out which stock is bullish or which stock is about to make a breakout, join my YouTube membership, link is in the description so that you can make money with me. For now, let's start with DFM market index. For the last 3 to 4 days I have been mentioning once market will be above 4240 it will be in bulls territory and we are seeing nice bullish momentum to the upside and today it has hit the resistance directly without taking any pause. Yes, with yesterday's candle there were chances that it might come down for a retest. Today it came down till about 4273 and then from here we saw good buying pressure in biggies like MR properties, DIB, MR development which helped the index close very higher. During the day market was down, it was due to Emirates and BD, the price got adjusted due to the dividends but overall market sentiments are very positive as of now, it's very bullish. For the last 4 days we are seeing all green candles, it has hit the resistance, there are chances it may want to take a break now and then possibly we will see a new upside momentum. Once this resistance is taken out, next resistance is bit far, we can again see a big momentum to the upside. Overall again DFM market is extremely bullish and there are very good opportunities to buy the stocks even for long term and short term. So again please select your stocks very carefully and do not get stuck by buying the stocks that are going down. Let's check out ADX market index. This is the daily chart of Abu Dhabi securities exchange index. So far our support zone is holding perfectly fine as we have been discussing that is at 9245. For the last 4 days it's about the support zone, today it has closed positive, it's green but still overall trend is to the downside. To be very honest, I like this price action, we are seeing it's just going sideways for the last 5 days and from here if it makes a breakout, this will be a good indication that it has established the base or support at 9245 and now it's gearing up for the next resistance at 9350 and then we have 9400. As I mentioned, once it clears this area of resistance that is at 9435, that's when we can expect it to be positive because there are still chances it may hit any resistance and come down lower. I would like to see a closing above 9600 that is a bit far as of now but in order to be bullish I want to see market index breaking the resistance zones on the way up and then closing above 9600. This will be bullish and we can expect continuation to the upside from here as most of the stocks in ADX are at the bottom there are very good chances for entries so we can pick it up right at the bottom and even hold it for long term investment. Again to recap when I compare ADX index with DFM definitely Dubai financial market is extremely bullish as of now but there are very high chances after this phase of accumulation ADX market can break to the upside and then join DFM in this super bull trend. This is the daily chart of Imar properties, today it hit our target, this was our first target area at 8.25 and with this solid green candle many of the market participants made very good money. I have been recommending Imar properties right at the time of breakout, we saw upside momentum, first target was hit, after this sideways momentum this was our next area of target and then we are looking at 8.45. Overall, Imar Properties is extremely bullish. I like the price action as well. Look at this. After making a move to the upside, it just went sideways. It established its base. 
we knew 8.0 was support area and then boom to the upside. This is called a breakout. From here even it comes down for a retest then 8.10 is first support, next support at 8.00. So in any case, if MR properties comes down, it would be a buying opportunity. You can add more quantities in MR properties. Next week, I'm expecting a continuation to the upside. And even in worst scenario, if it comes down for a retest, support zones are strong enough to hold it. Fresh buyers will jump in because they already missed this big move. So now again, if the price comes down, those who missed this rally, they will try to join at the lower prices. This will establish the support and then price will continue its upside momentum. For example, look at this price action. After this strong move to the upside from about 7.15, it moved up till 8.00. So those who missed this rally to the upside when the price came down, fresh buyers joined in, it went zigzag, established the base and then a fresh rally to the upside. Similarly, the same scenario, those who missed this rally to the upside price went zigzag to establish a base and now again there are chances it will make a fresh new high very soon. So market keeps repeating these price actions. All we need to understand where are the sellers and buyers so that we can plan our positions. Many times what happens when the move is already done? Retail investors and traders, they try to enter right at the top. This is purely due to the FOMO. They think rally have started from 7.15, it has hit 8.00. And now if they enter right here, it will again continue going upside. They don't know this is the area of resistance. Smart money is offloading the shares here and dumb money is buying in this zone. And then we see correction happening. Those who entered right at the top, they are in losses. When the share price comes down, establish a support, they are already in pain. Those who bought right at the top, when they sell here, market again starts to go up. This is the reason a retail trader will always say, when I'm buying, stock is going down. When I'm selling, stock is going up. They are buying at the wrong place, they are selling at the wrong place. So obviously they are not able to make money and they come out of the losses. So please try and avoid this one. Always buy at the correct place and sell out with the smart money. I hope you understood this. If it was helpful then please hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Keep stocking.